Mitchell Reichert, CEO of June Group here at the Women Now Conference uh, from Ad Club, and I am with Trisha Clarkstone, CEO of Narrative. So nice to have you here. Thanks for having me. Tell us a little bit about your company. So we're a creative and tech company that's really focused on redefining the rules of storytelling, leveraging culture and technology. Fantastic. So we're here at the Women Now Conference. Give us some advice for younger women or even younger men who are just getting into the business. How did you do it? For me, it's always been about finding a competitive advantage. So how do you identify kind of your superpower and apply that into, you know, whatever your field is and really honing in on the white space, like where you feel that opportunity is for you to really plant the flag and kind of activate that superpower. And how does one do that? If, I, if I'm a young person, I'm, you're obviously so confident and successful, but I'm just a kid. and. You know, I think a lot of us sort of feel that way secretly yeah. inside. How do you build that confidence? I think the first thing is trial and error, right? Kind of testing out your ideas or what you think you might be good at, putting them into action, and then seeing what the result is. So I always said it's about going beyond the JD, going beyond the job description. And that's how you then get to test in different areas, hone your skill set, and then really apply that, and then basically show people what you're made of. So now's an interesting time for us to be having this conversation. So much is happening. Yeah. How do you feel about this time versus, say, earlier in your career? Are we making progress as a culture and a country? I think we're making progress. I think there are things that are happening in the world that's forcing us to make progress and like thrusting us into it. Mm -hmm. um, but then now it's up to everyone within the industry to then continue to take action. So I think there's a lot of dialogue and conversation, which is amazing because that didn't happen in the past, but now how do we turn conversations into actual action and doing something? So what advice do you have for men in the Me Too movement? Guys like me that wanna help, that, that feel like yeah, this is a great thing, how do we participate? I think I've had a ton of success and great supporters um, when it comes to men. My Russell Simmons was my um, first investor when I launched my agency. Wow. And then obviously Will Packer bought my agency. So I've had two men that have empowered me to kind of do what I do best. Um, so for me, it's about support and kind of helping to give women a platform to, um, to do their best work. And so for millennials, advice for them. They're, they've been in the industry for a little while probably. They're sort of middling in their career, not just starting out. Yep. How do you break to that next level? One piece of advice would be stay in a place where you can really make an impact and sink your teeth into something and then kind of make, make a move. Oftentimes they don't wait and really give it a, give it a second to, um, to hone those skills and then show the impact that they've made because then that impact carries throughout your career, whether it be now a new skill set that you have or a level of success that you can point to. Yeah, I agree with you. Trisha, thank you so much. Thank you. Much success to Great you. Great to meet you.